Hey guys, Whimsy here. So similar to the last time I did a Bayonetta cosplay, I showed you guys some things about the materials and whatnot, but this time I'm actually going to show you guys... So this is um, stuff that I have left over from the old Bayonetta cosplay, like fabric and stuff. Um, this is all foam I can use for the guns. There's a bunch of paints that I can use. These are out just optional things as well as the Velcro. I'm going to use the clock from the last one because it's the same clock. I just have to fix that and then figure out how to attach it. I have these possibly for some of the gun stuff, that was possibly for them. And then some of these fabrics, maybe they'll work, I'm not sure. This one could work for her collar, it's just stretchy so I don't know. This could work for her shoes I think. This is definitely going to work for the um, the hair, but I just want to make sure that it's not too, because this needs to be the darkest fabric. And then this is left over as well, maybe for the outside lining of the bodysuit, and then these I brought out for an option, but I don't think they're gonna work because they're not the right. I need to get like not as dark colors this time. Now we're gonna go out and get the rest of the supplies. So the first stop, I have found this potential for her collar, and then I've got this nice blue for her gloves, for the palms of the gloves, and then this for the like the neck frill and stuff, and the frill and the gloves. So something. Alright guys, now I'm at Michael's. This is going to be fun. This might totally work for the uh, back of her necklace, just painted gold maybe? You need us a bunch of these for all the details on her costume. For her blue diamonds, she's painted. Oh god, it's the foam section. Just a bunch of it to be safe. Guns. So I'd love to try something like this for her medallions, but I don't know it would be too hard to cut or if it would break easy. It's just foam. I'm going to try. So they don't have this in like a bigger bottle, but I'm hoping that this will be enough for the guns because I don't want to use spray paint this time. This is all they had. So let's hope. Oh my god, so much paint! So this I'm going to use for um, the guns actually to the bottom barrel isn't actually a barrel, I think it's like just like a squared thing, so I'm gonna put like foam over that. That way it retains a square shape and then the top one's round. Got the inside lining of our gun barrels. No more sawing gems in half, am I right? Well, I think I found what I could at Michael's, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out. So I'm all tired from shopping, so now it's dinner time. Yay! So after dinner I came home because I was just kind of like feeling tired, but we've got a pretty good haul today for what we need for the Bayonetta costume. Sometime this week I'll probably be going out more, getting more stuff, so that'll be that. I think we, we got some good stuff though today, so we got like most of the little things that we need. Okay, so I managed to find the fabric for the um, outside as well as the inside of the bodysuit. Hopefully these work, because trying to find a bluish gray was hard, and then trying to find something Shiny, pleathery, that stretches is also hard. Hey guys, so now that we've collected all of our stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it all out so we can see exactly what we've got because it's been kind of months since I bought all this stuff. Okay, so I've already started working on something, so I've got some glove patterns going, um, but I didn't want to cut anything yet because I want to show you guys all my stuff. Okay, so first of all, I've got these for all the chainy goodness that Bayonet has got going on like all the stuff on her like wrists and I think one for her collar so we've, we've got they're just like um what are these purse handles that you can just attach to a purse like easy quick so I thought hey that that's that's easy right now we've got this nice pleathery stuff I think this is similar to what I used for Bayonetta 1 this I think is going to be the outside of the fabric like the outside of her bodysuit parts and this I believe is the inside what is that? Not? Yeah, it is, because it's kind of like a little bit bluer. She kind of almost has a blue tint to the inside fabric of her um, uh, suit, so this was supposed to be an imitation of that. Hopefully it, it gets the right feel to it. Got the shiny white for the gloves. Well, for the top of the gloves. And then this white is not shiny, it's actually more like a matte, but uh, it's going to be for the ruffles. We've got bits and pieces of foam left over from all of my projects. Why am I dragging stuff? We've got this nice vibrant blue for her uh, glove palms. Um, I didn't buy much of it because it's really only, for the fabric, it's really only needed on the gloves. Otherwise it's all guns. And of course I've got a wig this time, so 
her hair is really not gonna be hard to style, and I've got some pretty good hairspray now. Okay, I bought loads of white foam for probably the guns and various other things. Got styrofoam. I'm not sure why I bought styrofoam. I think it's for the guns too, but it's thick and you know, so that should work. I think it's because our guns are not double barreled. Got me some more craft foam. It's thinner. I think this is gonna be for the medallions because they're slightly smaller and probably a little less, uh, this is already cut up. What is this? I don't know what this is for. I also think I bought this for the guns and realized I wasn't gonna need it. Whatever. We've got thread. We've got so much thread. Oh, I already bought some. Thread. All various colors. I got blue for gloves. I got white. I got black. I got all sorts of grays. Paper. <laughs> needles, of course. You want ballpoint needles when working with... Why is it open? When working with knits or stretchy fabrics, which are called knits. Um, more thread. I already bought thread. Why did I go buy more thread? Oh, I'm dumb. We've got tons of leftover Velcro, which we'll probably need for... I don't know. I think I just put it in there for the heck of it. Oh, we got these things again for her for her gun jewels because we're not dumb this time. These worked good for the last band that a uh, set of guns because remember I've made two sets of those guns. Ooh, they're so colorful with my lights, <sighs> but they'll be painted, of course. You guys, of course, will recognize this. It's from the last cosplay. Um, this might be why I needed Velcro because it's got a. So, oh wait, no, hers hangs from a thing. So we'll be making that necklace and make it so that it can hang from that and also be removed to put back on the original cosplay. This nice shiny fabric, it's gonna be for her collar and her wrists. Maybe a couple other things, uh, but probably mostly that. I came very prepared, I got more needles, so. I'm literally just pulling stuff out of this bag. It's been like months since I looked at it like this. You want a lot of needles, just in case. I learned that with Anime Expo 2016? Yeah. Um, these, just in case, the shoes, maybe it'll help. I don't know, probably not. Oh, I got this, as you guys saw, perhaps for her, um, the back of her necklace where it's got the moon hanging from it. P painted gold, I should be correct, I think. It's got beads on it, but it's whatever. It prevents me from having to make another thing. Foam. More foam! Foam that's in pieces and shred- oh god. <laughs> All this left over from guns. I got model magic, I expect because of the guns. I hope it's not like leaked and dried or anything. It should be fine. Uh... I still haven't quite learned how to use this stuff without it drying up and crackling, but it seems to be holding up on the old guns, so let's hope it holds up for these. More thread! God. So we got this stuff from the last cosplay, although it's slightly lighter than the other fabric, so I might need to like paint it or something, which I've, I've been taking a textiles class, so I've learned how to do stuff like that, but it's not dark enough, I don't think. It's shiny. I might texture it actually to look shiny too, I might, that might come up cool, but we'll see. We'll see how detailed I can get with that. This I think is more leftover from last time, but I mean I took everything I could and salvaged it. I think that's leftover. Yeah, it's like the same fabric. It's fine. Got more of this stuff, which I don't think we'll need, but it's like the vinyl -y stuff. Oh, I better not put that next to my computer. It's gonna overheat, no! This. Oh. Instamorph. I don't think I'll be using this because it's kind of heavy. But you never know. It's also hard to shape. But it, it works for some stuff, so we'll see. It might been it might have been for the uh the shoe oh the shoes. Yeah, hold on. Okay, I looked out and found a pair of shoes that are almost exactly the shape and heel size that Bayonetta's shoes are. Well her boots. I mean, I'm gonna cover them with fabric, obviously, but the shape overall is like perfect. I don't have to cut anything. Maybe one of these straps, but the other one should hold up. Um, because the last pair of shoes were impossible to walk in properly because I had to like actually hold them on with my toes and that was like I was getting cramps in my feet in places I didn't know existed. This is more from last time. This is actually like spandexy. Yeah. We'll see. This stuff I don't think I'll be using but just in case. I think these were for the guns. I'd have to go back and look at the Bayonetta. Um, it's nice that the game has a 3D model viewer because it's like, oh look, I can just view everything. I, yeah, I think these were for the guns and other little trinkety things. What is this? Why is... I have a random songo in this bag. Okay. Blocks of foam, I guess? I oh my god, you guys. I'm dumb. Ugh. And the last thing in this bag, we have these beads. I believe I bought these. Are there three strands? I think these are for... 
I think there's something to do with the medallions. I think there's little like diamonds that connect to them. That might be what it's for. So I'm gonna get these and paint them blue, of course. Um, I also have a basket full of paint. I'm not gonna go through all that because I don't even know what colors I have anymore. I have a lot that I've collected over the years. It's all like little cheap acrylic paints. For anything on the fabric, I'll probably have to use uh, like actual screen printing paint or stamping paint. For the chains, what I'm gonna do this time is actually paint them on. Um, I had intended to do that originally, but it had not worked, and I thought of doing the, like gluing the pieces on, which worked for a bit till the uh, foam started to wear down and pieces ripped off. So a lot of them have fallen off because the glue, it's glue. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is make a stencil and gently stamp paint on in the shape of chains. So I'll be making like cutouts for that and make it so that they're not connected so they don't like pull and everything. And then for the designs on the f the chest of her costume, that's probably all gonna be like painted on as well. Um, originally it was gonna be with like the fabric paint that you can buy at like Michael's, it's like the little squeeze tube thing, which could still work, but I might go a higher grade and use like actual screen printing stuff like I've been using in class. Alright, so that's everything. I'm gonna get started on sewing the gloves together. Um, hopefully you guys are excited. I know it's very late starting this to AX because it's like less than two months away, but it's all good. I've just been working with school and doing work and everything's been crazy, but now that all my projects are done, I'm getting started on this. Alright guys, so there will be a time lapse after AX sometime. Um, I might do, I don't know if I'll do any live streaming, but I might do like live videos on Instagram maybe. Again, my Instagram is whimsyrambostar with underscores, and you know, I'll probably be posting pictures most likely, so if you guys want to follow it, it'll be up there. And again, if I decide to stream anything of it, like making it, I might, I'll, I'll alert you guys on like my channel or something. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, stay whimsical.